Hi guys, welcome to a video. This is a little uh, tutorial on how to install Multi Theft Auto San Andreas or MTA SA for short, which is what most of us call it. The two things you'll need for the, uh, this uh, game to run is obviously um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which you can see we've got here. I like to keep my folders organised. So this is my GTA folder. So you'll need that, and second of all, you will need this, it's ntasa.com, that's where you go to, to get the client, you just simply click on download, and whatever version, if it's Vista or 7 onwards, so you just click on download, I've already got it installed, so I'll just run through this for you, that will not take very long. So you can just minimise that or close it or whatever. So, so once this comes up, um, you just click on next. I've already got it installed so I'm not going to actually install it. You click on whether you just want the server or the client. So you obviously want the client. You click on next. Then it should give the directories, I believe. This bit usually takes a while. So you can either use a custom one, which what I've got, or you can just use the default one, which will install it in your programs folder. Then it will ask where you want, where your San Andreas folder is. It should automatically detect it. If it doesn't, just um, find where it is and select it. So I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to bother with any of this, so I'm just going to cancel it. So now that we've got it on, I'm going to just jump to the NTA folder. So you can see we've got it installed here. So that's how you install it. So once you've got it installed, just open it up. It might be updating. Sometimes it updates, it's like one of those things that automatically does it, which I find really handy. So yes, yeah, got a new update, that's fine. So we'll let this do that, it shouldn't take too long. Although I am uploading, so it might take a little bit longer. Come on. If you want to just twiddle your thumbs or whatever while this is doing it. Right, because I've got dual monitor set up, it will come up and ask what monitor you want it on. If you've only got one monitor, it won't ask. It will just go straight on to the game. But it will, it will always ask me because I've got two monitors. <laughs> uh, so, whatever screen you want, left or right, whatever. Then click OK. So that's how you install it. Um, yeah, that's how you install the game, get it all up and running. Now we're going to go to the settings, and I'll just run you through the settings really. So obviously you want to change your name, get get your own name set. That's my name. Uh, and then you can go through whatever you know. Oh, these I've got all mine quite high because this graphics card runs quite well with this game. For me personally, I like to. What one is it? Chat? Where's chat? I think it's the multiplayer that's on there now. It's like a chat bit. Ah, this bit down here. Chat text? No. Input, output. This is all changed. <laughs> um, I don't know how to name game mode background. So. Hmm. Uh, chat background. Huh? Presets, so you can pick whatever one you want. These settings are all quite good. And then you can set up controls and stuff. 
Mm -hmm. I wonder if you can, I can disable. Because I want to use my screen wheel for this game. I wonder if you can disable the. Well, you'll see what it does in a minute once I pull that. Uh, yeah. So you can mute all your sound, click all your audio. Right, so that's how you do the settings. Um, that's pretty much the basics of the game. Um, I do have a server. Uh, I've had quite a few, as you can probably see. I've, I've had loads of GTA servers, it's ridiculous. Uh, the middle one, which I quite like, sadly, um, I didn't pay for it. Uh, I thought it was an auto payment, apparently it wasn't, so <laughs> I let it overrun and it went down. But I've got this one going. Um, if anyone wants to feel free to join, that's the IP up there. I'll post that in the description below if you want to join. Uh, it's a 70 player slot. The thing I will point out is, is it does have um, over almost 2 gigabytes of download. The reason I like the other server is because it had a really fast download speed. This one's not as fast. It will take, it depends on your location and your internet speed, all that stuff. If you get a decent speed and you're fairly close to the server, it should be fairly quick. But for me, it took about 15 minutes. So, if you want, as soon as you've, start, you've started the server up or whatever, uh, go and make a cup of tea or go and have something to eat. And then when you come back, you can come and play. Um, once once you've actually downloaded the initial thing, it won't take as long. The first time you join the server, it will take a good fifteen minutes or so. After that, it'll only take like half a minute, a minute at the most, uh, to join. Once it detects all this stuff, uh, you can see at the bottom it's loading everything. So yeah. I, I, I think it's what gig and a half, almost two gig. It's, bas it's basically all the cars. I did have a weapons one as well, but I don't know where that one went. And I don't think I backed it up, which is annoying. I should have backed all the server up before I moved it, although I might have. Hold on. We've got like three different things here, right? So that's uh, equal. That's a different server. Um, it's going to be under downloads. No. I uh, I've made it. Done. No, is it not in the other folder? Yeah, that one. I don't know if this is an outdated one. I'm just doing this while I'm waiting for that to load resources. I'm loaded. Mods. Vehicles. Scans. This, uh, yeah, that's updated. That's cool. But this looks really well organized. Ah, right. I forgot about that. I. <laughs> I organised all my folders and it actually looks quite nice. I forgot about that. Huh. Hmm. That'll be a, a random stuff. I forgot I didn't know that. Because it makes it look a lot nicer. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm looking at my mod folder. Yeah, I'll need to change all that stuff. Right, this will still take a little change. Once it's loaded, it's fine, it just takes a while to load. Where's the 
train stuff. There should be train modes in there. I don't know. Hmm. That photo looks well organized and looks really nice. I forgot I done that. I've got a map folder as well, nice. This is under our must be under RPG. Uh, da, 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 yeah. Cool. Why is that? And then that should be under mesh. Oh well. Uh, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right, now that we're in, I don't think this has got the modded skins. They don't look modded. Right, I'm going to put an image up on the screen right now because I don't want you guys to see my password. <laughs> If I can put the right password in, that is. That one. Right. Um. So yeah, I am going to. What card can I use? This is all modded. I took a long. <laughs> that took about three weeks. Um getting all this stuff. You can see why it's a big download. I've got a lot of modded cars and this pretty much 98% of the vehicles are modded. I'm going to use this one. We've also got a modded radio station. So you can basically run through all these. And you've got also the weird sounds as well. The problem is, the radio's bugged though. So the only way you can avoid that noise is by getting out of it. And I think get back at it. No. So you've you got all different radio stations and stuff. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to try and fix. I just want to disable that little noise that, because you hear it all the time. You need to turn the music right up to get it out. If you know what I mean, it can be quite annoying. We'll just drive around for a little bit. Is this shot on Steam? Not Steam, the other one. No. I'm going to go and do that now. Dis no, it's because I've not even got Discord open, that's why. Eh, Discord. So yeah, there's loads of features on this server. There's supposed to be traffic, but I've not seen any. If I turn the density off, you, you get too much. If I turn it on, you'd hardly get any. I want you to fix the density. It can be quite annoying. So you, you'll see what I mean, right? So if I turn that off, right? And then restart it. You'll see how much traffic we get. And it eventually starts to pile up and stuff. Although well, that doesn't seem like a lot. Let me just leave the density off. Barely anything's actually spawning right now. It gives that a bit more life when you're like me playing yourself. 
stuff like the timing and all that's synced to the server time, so I think it's... That must be East Coast or West Coast or something. Can't remember where the server is, but it must be where. one of them two. Must be West. I think it's West. Can't remember where the actual server is. But it looks like it's West. So yes, a nice little tutorial, how to download the game, how to download the program, uh, how to install, where to put it, all the settings and if you're interested, the server as well, which I've got running 24-7, 70 player slots, entirely up to you. I'll see you around.